sweet or savory. From croissants to creme brulee, pastry is more than just a sweet, flaky treat. A pastry is a craft. It's a product that there's a lot of time and skill and knowledge put into. Dessert is the ending course of a meal. It could be anything sweet, like fruit. With pastry, you really want to put in the technique and skills. Pastry chef Hannah Kwan creates her French delicacies at Cafe Madeleine, a patisserie in Boston's South End. For Kwan, the culinary calling came later in life, after she had earned a degree in English and linguistics. I thought I wanted to work in a psycholinguistics lab in academia. Not quite. A professional pastry course that Kwan took for fun whetted her culinary appetite and inspired a career change. The last part of the professional course was to do a six-month externship and I was debating actually com completing it, but I like to complete things, so I went ahead and did it and never looked back. Quan also gained hands-on culinary experience in France, and along the way, she met renowned French pastry chef Frédéric Robert, a James Beard Award winner who became her mentor. He was the pastry chef for Alain Ducasse, who is a famed restaurateur, for over 25 years. He asked me, if I want to go on an adventure with him, and he meant to open up Cafe Madeleine, and I said yes. The adventure continues on Columbus Avenue, where Cafe Madeleine's mission is to be a neighborhood spot, but one that offers an authentic French pastry experience. It's also to teach people about what real French pastry is when they come in. For example, Le Eclair. What most people don't know is that the default flavor for eclairs is actually not vanilla filling, but chocolate filling. If you order an eclair in France, you're gonna get a chocolate-filled, chocolate-topped eclair. The fruit tarts are slightly more complicated. We have a almond tart shell, and then there's an almond cream baked in the bottom. On top of that is a piped a vanilla bean pastry cream, which is a custard, and then the fruit. This particular one also has a blueberry compote on the bottom. Quan tops the tarts with carefully selected seasonal fruit. This day, nectarines, pears, and peaches. You want to get the fruits in the right seasons, then they have the peak freshness, the ripeness, unparalleled flavor. While her pastry is visually stunning, Quan doesn't consider herself an artist, but rather an artisan and practitioner of a craft come to work and you want to perfect it that day and the next day you have to perfect it again. It's a little bit different from being an artist where you have one piece of artwork that you never make again. And I really appreciate the craftsmanship and the artisanship of what I do. French pastry is a feast for the eyes, but let's not get carried away. Don't be shy and go for it. A lot of people say, oh my God, it's so pretty, I don't want to eat it but I made it for it. You need to eat it. Don't be afraid to eat it. Pastry chef Dimitri Vallier knew what he was doing when he opened Caramel Patisserie. Born and raised in France, he brings his love of pastry and some of his family legacy to Salem. My grand-grandfather was the pastry chef. He owned his pastry shop. My grandfather was the pastry chef too. I always call my grandma and say, what, what, what grandpa was doing? What type of this or what is the name of it? The extraordinary selection satisfies every kind of sweet craving. For those who fancy something fruity, Dimitri recommends a specialty named after his sister, Sophie, a co-owner of the patisserie. Sophie, it's a raspberry and a blueberry mousse with an almond cake. It's very, like, soft. The crown jewel of all the choices at Caramel, the Royale au chocolat. It's an almond d'aquoise, top it with a little hazelnut crunch on the top of the biscuits are surrounded with uh, dark chocolate mousse, glaze it with a dark chocolate. The bakery is a downtown Salem standout, and while it's a long way from France, for Sophie and Dimitri, it is now home. We came here like five years ago and said, wow, what is that town? And it was busy, it was nice and sunny, and everybody was outside, so oh my God, we love it. 
In addition to the shop in Salem, Dimitri and Sophie have a second location in Davis Square, Somerville. Dimitri tells us they take special orders, so if you want a larger version of any of the petite pastries you saw in the piece, they can do it with a few days notice. And back to Cafe Madeline, it is named for owner Frederic Robert's mother, who is an artist. Those are her paintings that grace the walls of the South End shop. Coming up, how a legendary bakery got its start.